Hello and welcome to National Park Wild. I am Eric, and I have not done a video in a while on my 2020 National Park trips, but last I did, I talked about my first day in Glacier National Park. It was an amazing trip, but there's a lot more to Glacier than what I did on my first day. Before I get into it, I hope you will subscribe to the channel, we've been growing a lot, I really appreciate all of your support, and subscribing helps support the channel and helps me make more videos. So now let's talk about Glacier National Park. I woke up that morning in Granite Park Chalet because that's where I hiked to the day before. It was fantastic waking up to a now clear sky day while the first day was cloudy, and we went on an early hike and we saw many deer and a few grasses. We saw more golden eagles on the way back to the actual trail. What ended up happening was that on the shuttle that we were taking back from Granite Park due to COVID, you could only take those shuttle. We ended up missing one barely, so we had a lot of time to spend along going to the Sun Road. So we decided to walk a good mile or so of it. And the scenery is so much more beautiful on going to the Sun Road further up near Logan Pass. We did not get to go all the way, but what we saw was amazing, and I really wish we got to see more. Waterfalls going down the side of the road, massive mountains, really, really amazing. Once we got our whole ride down, we went back into the park, and the first thing we did was Avalanche Lake. Avalanche Lake was a great trail, but keep in mind, it was very, very crowded. Part of that is because when we went, most of the road was closed, so naturally, the most popular trail normally is even more popular when the options are more limited. So it was a very nice trail. You walk along a beautiful creek in a nice forest, and at the end, you see just this massive mountain with many waterfalls pouring into a lake. The one interesting thing about this trail is that at the end, I was able to hear elk bugling, and I did not see any elk, but it was very cool to hear the mating call. After Avalanche Lake, we hiked a little more around the whole trail of the Cedars area, and enjoyed that and spent a night at Lake McDonald Lodge, which is one of my favorite national park hotels. It was very nice, you're right along the lake, and the sunset was very beautiful. We saw a blue heron fly overhead. It was just an amazing night. The next morning I got up early looking for mountain goats because I really wanted to see mountain goats on that trip. If there was one animal on this entire two week trip that I wanted to see, it was mountain goats because I'd never seen one and they seemed so cool. Unfortunately, I did not see any, and this is when we're leaving the park now. We are driving and we see a black bear on the road. We actually um, pulled over in our car and stopped to get some pictures. He was pretty far away. But once he started moving toward us, we got back in our car and left. It's very nice to get some photos and videos from a decent distance. My camera was really good for it. And it was a, just an amazing sight. We headed to Apgar and finally got Junior Ranger badges after years of waiting due to the fact that we never got them when we first went. Glacier never responded to our emails about getting books, so even though I was 16 when I did this, yeah, Junior Ranger books and Junior Ranger, but it was still very fun. And after that, we were basically leaving the park, headed to our next destination, Yellowstone, but we decided to stop at this overlook called Goat Lick, and we expected to see goats there, and given that we saw about a dozen mountain goats along the side of a cliff, I highly recommend you go to this overlook if you're headed south in Glacier. It was cool to see all those goats. As we were leaving the area, there's this little kid who had a stuffed mountain goat and I told him that there were a bunch of goats up ahead and he jumped for joy. That was a very nice moment of that trip. And that's pretty much what I did in Glacier. I should give a quick review of the park. It is currently my second favorite I've ever been to. The scenery is pretty much the unmatched best. It is only behind one other park. The wildlife is really great, we saw so much. Highline Trail is now my favorite in any park. It is simply amazing. As you're driving out to the park, you're just in this flat grassland area if you're coming from the south, and ju you just see massive mountains. It's so amazing. This is one of the best national parks. I've been to 51 and is my second favorite that will tell you how good it is. However, there is one national park that's better, and that is Yellowstone. And that's what my next video will be about. 
Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this experience recap and review of Glacier National Park. Comment your thoughts on Glacier and any video ideas you have. I plan to, after I'm through the 2020 recap, make some ranking videos about parks and maybe about some other national parks outside of the U.S. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.